Do you know the difference between signs of a heart attack and those of cardiac arrest? Knowing what to do in each of those instances could be crucial. And with more on that issue, we're joined by Dr. Khalid Ziada at the UK Gill Heart Institute and Penny Gabbard with the American Heart Association. Welcome. Important information here. I yes. appreciate it. Doctor, first, what is the difference between a heart attack and, and cardiac arrest? Uh, a cardiac arrest is uh, when uh, basically the heart stops functioning. So it stops beating because of an electrical abnormality uh, in the, uh, the way the uh, heart impulse is generated. Uh, a, cardiac, uh, a heart attack is different. It is a blood flow problem. When the blood flow to one part of the heart muscle uh, is obstructed, usually by a blood clot. And how serious are these issues? Well, both of them are ex very, very serious and, and life-threatening. Um, uh, a cardiac arrest uh, usually uh, means that the heart stopped functioning, there is no blood flow to the brain, and the, the, the victim would uh, die within minutes without uh, effective resuscitation. Um, a heart attack usually the, the causes some discomfort and pressure, and there is a little bit more time, but still uh, uh, requires uh, urgent care. Um, because uh, the longer the patient uh, waits, uh, the, the, the more the possibility of heart damage. Uh, Penny, uh, your job, of course, to educate people what to mm -hmm. do in these uh, circumstances if uh, they see someone uh, having either of those. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in, uh, where can they turn? Well, first of all, the first thing they should do is always call 911. If the victim has had a heart attack and they're breathing and they're up, then you don't need to worry about CPR. But if, it's, if there's a cardiac arrest, you need to immediately start CPR on them. And certainly important that people do get that CPR training. You know what it is? Um, you don't have to be certified to perform CPR. Mm -hmm. There is a hands-only CPR that is very easy and very effective. You should call 911 and then you should press firmly and fast in the center of the victim's chest. We say to do it to the beat of staying alive mm -hmm. until the paramedics get there. And there's been a change in protocol on that uh, recently, hasn't there really, uh, with the way you, you do CPR? In the past, there was more emphasis on the uh, hands and the breathing. Mm -hmm. uh, more research recently showed that uh, uh, you can get effective CPR by using hands-only method, which we think is, is a big uh, uh, change and, and important because it's much easier to do. And uh, as Penny said, we don't have to certify people. Even if you're not certified, even if you have some idea how this works, uh, you can provide effective CPR by hands-only. All right. Important information. Thank you very much for coming in. Appreciate it very much. Thank you.